In this video, we're going to be installing a Multiman and the Webman mod. I'm going to leave both links in the description so you can go ahead and download them. With a Webman mod, you'll be able to run ROMs, play PS2 Classic games, play PSP ISOs, and then you're going to also be able to remotely connect to your PC and your PS3. Make sure to download these highlighted links. I'm going to make another video showing you in more detail how to run ISOs and PS2 and PS1 game. For now, we're just going to be installing all the packages and then running the webman. Once they're done downloading, you're going to want to drag them onto the root of the SD card. Now, once that's done, we're going to eject the flash drive from the computer and then plug it into the PS3. Once it's plugged into the PS3, you want to head it over to the package manager and then click on install package files. Click on standard. You're going to see a bunch of files. They're going to be duplicates in here. Just ignore the ones that have the little dot with the underscore. And we're going to be clicking the ones that don't have that. Those are going to be the ones that you can install. The other ones, for some reason, it's just a duplicate, but it won't let you install anything. Just going to go through this, accept it. We're going to check to see if there's any updates. So you want to scroll over to MMCM and then click on update. There's an update. We're going to go ahead and install it. And then we're going to be installing this from install package file. So let's head over there. Once the update is done, we're going to back out. And as you can see, we're on the latest version of Multiman. Making another video showing you how to install ISOs and run the PS2, PS1 games. So stay tuned on that. For now, I'm also going to be showing you how to install Webman mod. And as you can see, it says As you can see, it says hold down L1 for full edition or hold down X for light. We're going to be holding down L1 installing the full. Once that's done, it's going to restart. Just press select and then this little menu is going to pop up. And then you can change the little settings right here. You go into Webman Setup and you can change all the settings in here. You can check the CPU, fan speed, and then from here you can also file transfer and connect to your computer. I'll make a video on that showing you how to connect to your computer and everything as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.